And this is that part that you take like a double take and you're like, oh my gosh, you're looking so fabulous today. And in under 30 minutes, I have no idea how to do this, <laughs> but it's all put together so right. Oh, yes. Again, my crystal ball. Let's see if it'll, if it'll rain. And it rains. It rains like glitter. Yeah, I wish this world would rain glitter up here. That would be nice if it would rain glitter. <laughs> But then again, some people will be mad because they don't like all that stuff in in their on their body. Me personally, I it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. But as a person that loves the outdoors too, also love when it rains also because it puts me in a better mood. With, and I know everybody's supposed to have sunshine, just like it's sunny right now, and it's like 60 degrees right now. But if it was like 60 degrees, cloudy, rainy, I would be in like a better, 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 better mood. Not to say I'm not in a bad mood, I'm in a great mood. But I would be like, let's go outside, let's Let's so like enjoy the enjoy the nature's wrath, especially when the hurricane came. I was fabulous, minus the no electricity, and you know you have to ration out camp camp food for like four days. So Hurricane Michael was that was that was something that was. A whole lot of something. It kind of teaches you how to actually, you know, survive. If you can survive four or five days, you know, with no electricity, no internet, no Wi Fi, no anything <laughs> besides, like, you know, the card that you have. To charge up your phone if you have a phone and that can only last you for so long if you want to use it but then again you have no Wi-Fi and all you can do is probably make calls or you could probably get like a test might but you know it taught the panhandle of Florida a lot about you know surviving in nature's wrath and I, I learned a lot from it I mean this is kind of like the second natural almost natural disaster that I witnessed besides like um, Hurricane Kate that was like in 1985 but I was like five years old when that happened so no four yeah and it was it was nothing compared to this and everything everything was you know it was just like everybody had to rebuild and people are still rebuilding right now and you know I commend y'all I mean for y'all sticking it out and everything cuz I mean where I live at right now, we could have had it a lot worse if this eye would came a little bit more east. And yeah, it would it would have been a lot worse. But if it was a lot worse, we would still rebuild. And you know. I see the damage in certain parts of the areas and it it is oh my gosh it's pretty bad 
but they're rebuilding, and I'm, you know, all the, I mean, everybody helped out. The, the government helped out to, the government helped out to actually, you know, give people, you know, like aid and actual, you know, stamps, food stamps, and everything like that. Which you know, that's that's a plus, and um, I'm happy that you know they came to the rescue real quick and fast like that. But yeah, <laughs> oh god, happy Sunday to me. This is. I love these days. <laughs> and I hope y'all are having a great Sunday also. Do it to others and do them proudly. And that really didn't make any sense. But if somebody's feeling bad, cheer them up. Have, take them out. You know, show them a good time. I mean... <laughs> That's all they need. I mean, some type of companionship. And if they don't need any type of companionship, let them be until they are ready to hang out and have a good time. That's what I said. Love y'all. I have a good one.